So I used to be a really big people pleaser. I found it very difficult to say no to people. I didn't really enjoy spending time on my own and I was very, very frightened of rejection and failure. And it wasn't until I learned this one thing that my life completely changed. Going on guys welcome back to a brand new youtube video in today's video i'm going to be talking about how i've learned to stop being a people pleaser if you're a people pleaser yourself you're going to find this video to be very valuable it's going to be a lot of information that i'll share that will really help you to start choosing yourself and start building yourself the one thing that i learn on my journey and it's transformational is really really going to help you so if you stay to the end of this video I can guarantee that you're going to find a lot of value for those of you that are new to my channel new to my videos my name is Jodine Bryson I'm a men's life coach and fitness coach um, I post videos every single Wednesday to help you guys to improve every area of your life so if that sounds like something that you want and need then click that subscribe button and click the bell button to get notified every time I upload a new video um, but with that being said guys let's get into the video okay so I think the first place to start is obviously to recognize and understand accept that you are a people pleaser and the time that I really started to learn and understand this was when I was about 22 years old. I just finished my master's degree. Um, I just had my heart broken as well um, by a girl who was, you know, emotionally unavailable, had a boyfriend. And that was a theme in my life, like for a long time, was just kind of looking for validation, for acceptance from people that really weren't in a position to give me that. Um, and I was very, very desperate and, and in need of that as well. And it wasn't until I took that really painful hit that I started to gain some sort of awareness um, about why I was doing that and, you know, obviously how I could go about changing it. So if you struggle to spend time on your own and you're constantly thinking about love and being in, in a relationship and feeling really lonely and you've got no goals, no purpose, no drive, um, you're feeling depressed, then the chances are that you are a people pleaser and that you haven't learned the basic um, tools, strategies uh, that are going to help you to put yourself first and learn how to look after yourself first. Now, growing up, I was raised in a way where I was always encouraged to help other people, to put other people first. And I wasn't really educated about the importance of filling my own cup first, about looking after myself before I look after other people. And as a result of that, you know, I found myself drawn towards helping people, became a coach. Um, much of the work that I've done in my life has involved me helping other people, helping other people to improve in some way. And that was um, something that I didn't even perceive as being a potential weakness, a potential problem, um, until that time when I got my heart broken, which I've told you about. And um, understanding and going back to the root of um, of why, <clears throat> why I was so desperate to help people has really started to improve my life. So I'm gonna dive into it that a bit now. Okay, so my dad left when I was three years old and my, my mum obviously had to work a lot of hours like when I was growing up. I had to spend a lot of time on my own and I didn't really learn how to socialize, how to um, how to put myself out there in a normal kind of way. So um, what I learned to do was basically to, to perform, to show off, um, and that was my way of getting validation 
of getting acceptance and ultimately of getting love as well because obviously when my dad left it left a bit of a wound in my in my heart you know um, we everyone needs their father obviously guys need their father as well you know? uh, a father is there to, to lead their children to lead their sons to teach them how to become men um, and obviously when you don't get that uh, male role model it has big impact on your self-esteem on your self-worth um, because you feel like you are trying to um, do it all on your own and there's no one to show you the ropes but despite my dad leaving when I was three I was actually quite a happy child pretty happy-go-lucky pretty free-spirited um, you know quite excited I, I'd always kind of need to be outside I'd be very energetic and need, need to be doing things um, and <clears throat> that part of myself I really learned to <clears throat> sort of suppress and to switch off um, as I got into like, teenage years and um, early adulthood as well I became a lot more serious um, a lot more kind of deep a lot more depressing um, and kind of in some way switched off from that inner childlike innocence that I had and I think a big part of that was me feeling like I had been rejected for, for being that way so if you are a people pleaser then I would recommend finding things that are really going to help you to improve yourself whether it is going to counseling you know speaking to a therapist having coaching or if it's going traveling or if it's getting in the gym changing your physique improving your diet you know take, taking up a new hobby whatever it is doing these things that are, um, are good for you and don't rely on other people that's going to be the biggest thing for you because if you're constantly relying on the validation the acceptance of other people then that's a distraction it's distracting you from really t from going within from working on yourself and healing those wounds that's all for me today guys thank you for watching if you found this video to be useful give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i look forward to seeing you all in the next one